Hey, it's Eric Leo 108 with the Sunday update for April 14th, 2024. I'll give the Sunday update and then I'll read the blog post for Charlotte's Web. I'm currently live on Instagram on another phone. The latest release is coming up, which is more hardcore rap about my business perspective. The next release drops April 15th on Emma Watson's birthday. Charlotte's Web is the song and is inspired by Emma and her present. Happy birthday, Emma. I hope you like your song. I'm really proud of it. The latest album is The Industry with drops March 1st and which dropped March 1st and features Capadonna from Wu-Tang and Requiem, Cool G Rap, Deuce McGuire, Camera, Jada Kiss, Jada Kiss, uh, Soul Stretch, Rich G's, Corrupt, Planet Asia, and Juvenile. You can find a short blog post about each release at ericleo.org on the new release blog. So uh, that was the Sunday update. This is the working projects and personal update. Westside Connection and Heavy Hitter EPs will all drop by May 24th, 2024 and will feature the artist Cocaine from the Alcoholics, Taz from the Dirty OGs, Exhibit, Snoop Dogg, Gucci Mane, KRS-One, and King Crooked. Pussy Pop and the 8-track album drops July 5th. Let me know if you want to put a verse over a sax beat about cheering people up on the street. I haven't got those group singles back from Keanu yet, probably this week. I recorded the uh I recorded the vocals for two of the songs for the end mass shootings EP, so they're ready for the La Luna session in June. I'll probably start recording the final vocals for Mr. Congeniality earlier this week. Songs from that album are in have songs that are inspired by R. Miller, Lynx Groupie. Halsey, Janelle Monet, Haley Steinfeld, Emma Watson, Susie Vidal, Victoria Hammett, Leisha Miller, Katie Porter, Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, and Sad Alex. I decided not to write a song about Amber Ruffin. I changed my live schedule to Monday through Thursday at 7, 7 p.m. on TikTok. I'm trying to get on radio. Rich G's label, Augmented, has a service to get your music on satellite radio I signed Earth up for. We'll see how it goes. I have also been talking to DJ Waytop of, from LA Powers 106 FM and plan on playing, paying for some spins in a couple weeks. What song do you think I should promote? I was thinking Earth, but now I'm thinking Charlotte's Web. On the 25th of this month, I'll be signing up to have Rick Barker basically be my manager and give me guidance and help me find my audience. Rick is Taylor Swift's former manager. He's been responsible for countless indie artist success stories and I think his experience is val valuable and something I've been wanting for a long time and he's making a limited time offer I can't refuse. I would be already signed up for it, but because of billing complications, I'm waiting two weeks to sign up on the day so I get billed on that same day. You can really help by following me on Spotify or requesting my music through Alexa. Okay, that was the work update. This is the blog post for Charlotte's Web, which comes out tomorrow. Charlotte's Web is my 75th official release and my 110th track published. This track is inspired by and about Emma Watson while taking themes from the book Charlotte's Web. This was intentionally released on Emma's birthday as a present. Happy birthday, Emma. The, be the beat is by Ken Yama. It was produced by uh, Sam Peters at La Luna in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and the cover art is made by Artwork Gang from Fiber. Fiverr. Uh, this song has been a long time in the making and I'm very proud of it. I worked hard to get this one, almost as hard as I did on Earth. Um, yeah, I wrote this back in 2017. It was part of the Chalice mixtape whose concept is I met Taylor Swift, did business with Marcus Limonis, and end up with Emma Watson. I remade the beat in 2023, changed a couple lyrics to update the perspective, and set it for release on Emma's birthday. This song was created at La Luna, and I have a short video 
on YouTube from when, when I was at the studio making the final touches on Charlotte's Web and other songs, which is linked in the blog. Emma is my queen. Emma, you are my queen. And the reason I do my music, Charlotte is Emma's middle name. I use her middle name for a few reasons. One, I think, I just think Charlotte's sexy. But another is I don't want Emma thinking I'm just after her for the fame. I want her to know I want her and not the attention, so I've kept with it. I also think it's mysterious with an attractive allure. It started with me using her middle name for the Chalice mixtape and this and, and this song, and I've kept with it. The whole point in doing this is to show Emma I love her and create enough economic st stability to basically chase her, to find her, and try to have a relationship even if we just remained friends. I chose Emma as my queen and my main focal point because over the past two decades, I have gotten the most cosmic love coincidences from her. I have the theory that the Earth is conscious due to its magnetism, which I discuss in my book, 108, The Story of Discovering Earth's Consciousness. On the CosmicLove.com log, love spelled with a U, on my blog at EricLeo108.com, I talk about how, how Gaia, the planet Earth, could be telepathically influencing mating patterns of animals by highlighting cognition in this way Emma is my most frequent and consistent cosmic love that I get semantic coincidences from. The cosmic love log attempts to catalog these coincidences and describe the communication I'm experiencing as best as possible. I won't lie, I get other uh, cosmic love coincidences from other loves like Taylor Swift or Haley Steinfeld. Over the last Five years, I've gotten co consistent coincidences from Haley Steinfeld, but Emma has remained the main focal point. This, ha this has less to do with my love for Emma and Haley and more to do with hip hop because hip hop talks all this uh, stuff about bitches and hoes and basically exploiting women for their bodies. I wanted to flip that on its head and talk about being dedicated to one woman. I wanted to choose one girl or one woman and make music about being dedicated to her. Because of cosmic coincidences, Emma came out because of cosmic coincidences, Emma came out on top. I have about 10 songs that mention Emma by name, which is often her middle name, like this track. With that said, happy birthday, Emma. Uh, I hope I can make you feel special on your birthday. Uh, I love you. Take care of yourself. And I hope to meet you soon. Okay. That was it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my family. I love you very much. And until next time, you take care. All right.